Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Drop Frames. Co, what episode is it? Uh, today is twelve ninety four. All right, thank you. I like how each episode you're still going up. You remember? It's good. I like it. That's <laughs> Just all that more and more exaggerated. Yeah, that's all that. Uh, I was willing to matters. believe. Yeah, I was willing to believe that was a real number. <laughs> like, wow, that's impressive. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the show, Brooke. Thanks for filling in uh, last minute, and uh, yeah. we're gonna start the show off with uh, Zeke said he had a surprise for me and Co, and we had to remind him about this. I do have a surprise, and it's not its not my surprise, per se. So I don't know what this is. It's a surprise. Well, um, an ass I have surprise? A, yeah, Best it's a, it's not an ass surprise. Oh, well, <laughs> shit. Literally. I've got an well, ass surprise for you. We got different names for that in North Carolina. Montana, too. Tell you what. Uh, no, I have a viewer that uh, sends me stuff. He's an artist. Uh, his name is uh, Zombie Airbrush. And he's done some, like, he's done a helmet for me. He's done some other stuff. And uh, he's an airbrush artist. And he made these. And he made one for me, one for JP, and one for uh, Co. Okay. And I just want to show you. All right. And he asked me your guys' size, so I'm hoping that they're they're. I'm nervous for some size. reason, but I don't know if no, I don't be be. No, be, it's, <laughs> no, no, don't be nervous. No, no, don't be nervous. Usually but, when, uh, get, when fans give me things, it's of derogatory nature, so. No, no. <laughs> Oh, okay. Whoa! Those are fucking cool. What? That's awesome. Those are pretty sick. See? Whoa! Oh, look at that shit. Okay, on awesome. the back. It's rad. And they're good shoes too. They're Pumas. Is that? Are those the good shoes these days that the kids wear? That's, that's the good shit. Yeah. Oh well, Zeke froze. The Pumas. And okay, never mind. He's back. <laughs> and then, oh, you got a different. You got a different style. You got like ribs on yours, dude. Oh, rib for what? Mine Check are that super shit out. Fucking purple. <laughs> That's yours, man. You get you get ribbed for JP's pleasure. Oh man, <laughs> that looks great. Look at that. Are yours yeah. purple or am I the only purple ones? Oh no, they're well, all purple. My camera just sucks. The other ones, the other ones oh. are purple too. They were just oh, my camera, purple. My camera doesn't suck. It's uh, just the color balance is weird. Gotcha. With, especially with purple for whatever reason. Well, that's sweet. Uh, and these are mine. Those are awesome too. Very yeah. cool. Yeah, Zombie Airbrush is awesome, man. He uh, he made me one of those helmets as well that was like all the different designs and the little spray-on things. And I think actually yeah. oh, the yeah. helmets that he made us, don't they have the Drop Frames logo on them maybe? I don't they know. Do. They're, they're they awesome. Yeah. Uh, Zeke, cool. I need, we need clarification. Did he put I'm, an S in my name? Oh, God. <laughs> it's me, JP. No, 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 he didn't. No, oh, no. this it guy's me, the JP. best. He's a hero. It me. It's not item. JP. It's not. It's me, J. It's he's got it right. No, nope. <laughs> item JP. I have a item. I have a capture card from uh, a company. Let's say uh, that has item JP. Uh, like, what do you nice. call it when you like uh, sign on the metal stuff? Is that not lithograph? Etching. Etch, yeah, I guess etched into it. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. It's weird. That's that, weird thing. That beveled. I don't know. Beveled. Uh, maybe something bevels when know. you like bevels on the no that's a bevels bezel like the angular thing i think yeah, yeah. bevel is an edge it, you bevel yeah, the edge yeah, and you yeah. kind of round it okay. you right you right all right we're educational a bezel though bezel is what i think what you're thinking of i believe the word is emblazon <laughs> embiggen i think it's embiggen oh wait that's simpsons i've got it engraving engraving <laughs> maybe works i don't know if you engrave metal though can you, I guess you can engrave metal. Laser etch. You can engrave anything, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> bedazzle. Yes, it's, that's probably It's bedazzled. It. That's 100%. Uh, yes. Let's just end it at that. Yeah. yeah. It, I have a bedazzled capture card. It's the most <laughs> prominent capture card ever. If I was going to send like some kind of a you know promotional thing out to a bunch of people sight unseen it would definitely be bedazzled <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're like wow this is a little too far yeah yeah i'm gonna get a shirt with my name embezzled on the back <laughs> embezzled, <laughs> embezzled? The back. you're gonna okay it's gonna be embezzled on the back with like lace and frill and stuff it's gonna be great <laughs> Jesus, man, we have just taken that joke and gone way too long with it. Let's move Woo. on. Let's just abort. If Let's we just go get just a here. little bit longer, it might be funny, though. Uh, <laughs> We're yeah, almost how long to the humor threshold. <laughs> how long is too Keep long? Going. Though, really? How long is too long? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Welcome to Drop Frames, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> yeah. uh, we'll just do some keep up here. Zeke, uh, or some catch up here. Zeke, you're in New York. Right. That was was that a thing last week? Did that occur? 
It was a thing last week. How was your trip to New York and or meeting a bunch of celebrities? It was fan fucking tastic. I absolutely love it. And I'm trying to I'm actually trying to give you a uh, a drive link here and it's not working. <laughs> a drive link for pictures, uh, Google Drive. Oh, we're going to do uh, we get to do family photo time. I was gonna. Uh -huh. All right, let's do it. I'm into it. Did All you right. meet lots of people? Did you squeeze lots of biceps? I did. Great. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. That's I, all I'm, he's going to tell us about it. No, no, no I did. There, I, Great, I Zeke. Let's email. move on. <laughs> I think I sent you an email there. I think I sent you a link. Oh, you sent it to my email? Okay. All right. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully it's in your email. Okay. I hope. Well, if me... not, I'll just say stuff. Okay. I was, for some reason, <laughs> I, I just looked at my desktop and remembered that I was trying to buy the URL vrdiscussions.com and link it to this channel for drop frames every week, but someone's already got it, man. Someone already owns Ooh. vrdiscussions.com. Goof ruined. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, so okay, I got it. You got it? Holy shit. You okay. sent... Okay. Yeah. I thought I sent a link, but I guess I might have sent all the pics. Instead. No, you literally just sent all the pictures. <laughs> Did I? Good. Well, fuck you then. <laughs> yeah. Let me download these one by... I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these. Uh, I'll figure it out. Talk to me about Comic-Con. Okay. Uh, Comic-Con is fantastic. It's, it's uh, something I learned that I didn't know before. Was that when we do when we do Comic Con as, as Twitch, we are actually there at the behest of Read Pop, the people who put on the con. Mm -hmm. um, they put they are in charge of New York Comic Con and I think Chicago the C two E two Chicago Comic Con, um, but they're not in charge of San Diego. So when I go to San Diego, that's we're at, we're hired by Skybound, which is Robert Kirkman's like publishing group, but. Read Pop is able to get all these big, bigger name like celebrity people because they're the ones who are putting on the con, and they're like, "Hey, we're Read Pop. You know us because we do this. And why don't you come by our live stage, hosted uh, hosted by Twitch and like fandom and shit like that." Hmm. And so that's that's how they're like able to get all the like the bigger names. It's not like Twitch has the connections; it's the people who put on the con have the connections. So what you're saying Something is. I these celebs don't give a fuck about Twitch. They're just doing it because the people that put on New York Comic Con tell them to go there. Mostly, yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, mostly, they don't know what Twitch is. Like, okay. they have to be it's like, what is, what is Twitch? Okay. Uh, it's it's what, surprising what actually. <laughs> yeah, it's surprising actually when someone knows what Twitch is. And I'll tell you a funny one. Uh, the um, uh, uh, Anthony Atamanik, who is the president on the President Show, he plays. Plays uh, Trump on Comedy Central. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. The new uh, there. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, oh. He actually knew what Twitch was, and he's like a gamer, which was I thought was kind of funny. Huh. Um, always those this closet, guy, closet gamers. Who's this? This this is this guy is David A. Goodman. You don't might not know his face or his name, but you know like a lot of his work, which I found out backstage because he gave me shit about it. He was like, "You don't do your research, do you?" Uh, after I was like, like "Oh who the fuck shit. are you?" He, no, he, he was got there. Called out. Well, I got we we sometimes we get our uh, our segment assignments like the morning of, and you have like oh, a limited oh, right. amount of time to do like research and shit, right? Because people right. cancel and people fill in, yada yada yada. So uh, we got to talking because he was there to promote his book, the autobiography of Jean Luc Picard. Oh, that's why you have a Star a Trek book. Of yeah, a fictional guy. So he's like writing in Jean Luc's voice and yada yada. So he's a super fan. We got to talking, and I said, you know what? Uh, one of my favorite episodes of Futurama was the one where they got all the original cast from Star Trek. Like they got Kirk and Spock and all the, all the original guys to do voices and stuff. And he goes, you really don't do your research. Do you? I wrote that episode. I was like, Oh <laughs> fuck. It's kind of a big deal then. And he just went over stuff. Like he's also a, like one of the head writers on the new Orville, the Orville show. Yeah. With the Seth I haven't watched show. that yet. Sick. That's awesome. He's, yeah, yeah, he's was... one of the head writers on that. He's done Futurama. He's done like all kinds of different shit. And we just got to got to talking, and he's like, "Yeah, I said I know all of your work. I just didn't know who you were." Hmm. Quick segue, <laughs> quick segue. Wait, just real fast. Has anyone yeah. here watched uh, or wait, Orville? I've not watched it. Yeah, yeah. It's, on, it's on Hulu, and I keep meaning to watch it because it would be so easy to, and I haven't done it. I've yet. heard it's. Uh, I haven't watched it yet, but everyone that has watched it said it's worth it's worth your time. So cool. Yeah, because with that, with that, and uh, Discoveries, right, is the one that 
that's the other one. Yeah. Um, Discovery is real Star Trek. This is like like sort of a parody ish of Star Trek. See, I've heard kind of the opposite because Discovery is very like action oriented, mm-hmm. right? But Instead of but it's the Star Trek name though. Right. I see what you're saying. Yeah. 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 That's what, that's all I'm saying. I I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Um, from the people that I know that are super into Star Trek, they're saying Orville is more in line with like older Star Trek, whereas Discoveries doesn't necessarily feel like real Star Trek. You know, it's not, it's not as much about connecting with other cultures and like, Mm, you know, political intrigue and things like that. That The Orville definitely has a sense of humor, like a better, a better sense of humor about itself. And it knows it. The, the good thing about the Orville is it knows what it's doing. It knows it's right. it's sort of a, a off. I mean, it's sort of. It's definitely an offshoot of Star Trek. Like a, a I wouldn't say a parody, but I'd say like maybe a satire. I'm not. I'm not sure of the terminology, but sure. you can see it. Their uniforms are like ex- almost exactly like they have the little symbol that could be like confused for like a Star Trek symbol on their on their uniforms and shit like that. And I actually got to sit down with with some of the cast like. That's the other thing about doing these Comic-Con interviews is uh, when we get a cast from a show, it's usually everybody but the one. So it had almost everybody except Seth MacFarlane. He oh, wasn't oh, there. Okay. So, right. it had, yeah. We had the cast of Archer except H. John Benjamin. He wasn't there. <laughs> right, right. Like that kind of shit. We'll have all the other guys but not the one. That like we sense. had the cast of The Walking Dead. Except all the main characters you know. <laughs> so was it just a bunch of zombie extras yeah, hanging out? It was just all the extras. No, well, but I was in episode like, a, 74, and let me tell you, I almost killed Rick. <laughs> well, if you're, on a, if you're a huge fan of the show, you know some of the ancillary characters. But, I mean, Rick wasn't there. Michonne wasn't there. Carl wasn't there. Mm. Uh, Maggie wasn't there. You know, like, Glenn wasn't there. Like, none of those guys. But, like, the guy who plays Jesus was on the show and, like, you know, that kind of thing. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Uh, let's move along here. Wait, wait, how do I? Oh, right. I have to hit that. Oh, Orville my God. Is not met... a comedy. Yes, it is. It's definitely a comedy. You bet. Adam Savage. Adam Savage. There he is. Yeah, the Mythbusters. He's you bet. Cool. Hell yeah. That's the second time Look I've interviewed that. that guy. Look at that watch. That watch is fucking. That's a. What's he up to these days? Look at that hat. Watch. Hell yeah. 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 Uh, dude is amazing. That guy is <laughs> one of my favorite people that I've met. And I, I had the pleasure of interviewing him twice. He's super cool. He loves going to cons. He loves making elaborate cosplay costumes. He was uh, he played he was at, he was Chewbacca uh, this year. He's done Chewbacca a few times, yeah. but he loves doing that and then tweeting out afterwards. Hey, I was Chewbacca today. Did you see me? Did you take a picture with me and stuff like that? Um, and there was like a picture of him <clears throat> with uh, someone. His a friend of his was playing a stormtrooper and it had Chewbacca in cuffs and was leading mm. leading Adam Savage around and. It showed pictures. No, but it showed pictures of him, like, like in the hallway or whatever, like a like an, a place where celebrities are allowed to get, like go and yeah, traverse. The special secret. And it showed back him and the yeah. stormtrooper, and it looked like almost romantic. <laughs> <laughs> like he was holding his hand or something. <laughs> uh, well, cool. What what else? Yeah, Co was asking what else is he up to these days? Because he doesn't do. I think he has like some sort of NDA where he can't be on television until his contract runs out. Uh, Maybe. Yeah. He's doing online stuff. He's making uh, suits of armor, like in the style of Excalibur. We talked about that. Oh, oh yeah. shit. Okay. Yeah. That's he's making cool. shit like that. Yeah, yeah. He's still doing stuff on. Um, he's on Tested. Oh, what was Tested. There he is. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Tested is a. They have a YouTube channel, but they also have a site. Uh, they do crazy shit. He, I've watched videos of him. Like, wa- he walks into a studio and he's like, Today I'm going to make, uh, uh, I think I'm going to do Chewbacca. And then over the course of like six hours, he makes the best fucking Chewbacca cosplay <laughs> outfit that I've ever seen with the most crazy uh, ways of doing so. Um, so yeah, right. definitely check out those those uh, those videos if you haven't seen them before. Uh, let's move on. Who are these guys? That's, one of them is John Leguizamo. Oh shit, you're right. right. I didn't realize yep. that. On the right. Yep. Yep. Uh, that's John Leguizamo, the uh, freak, the pest. Uh, uh, Chi Chi from Tu Wong Fu. Yeah. Um, also in John Violator Wick. Violator from Spawn. That, yeah. Also in John Wick and John Wick yeah. too. <laughs> uh, he's uh, there with Edgardo, and I can't remember his last name, but uh, they were promoting a uh, comic book that they're making about his one man show special from back in the day, like I want to say early 90s, uh, called Freak. It's an autobiographical, like one man yeah. show that he did on, on Broadway. 
and now they're making it into a comic book. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah. I think that might have been my first stand-up special I've ever seen on HBO. If that was on HBO, if that's the same thing that I'm thinking I watched. Yep, long, long that's ago. exactly what it was. And yeah. I told him that I said, I was like, now, uh, the reason why I'm up here is because I wanted to say, like, what an inspiration you were for a theater kid like like me. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know why it's freezing. Yeah, I was going to say, it's, is anyway. it freezing audio too? Yeah, yeah, it's been happening yeah. since we started. Okay. But it's it's everyone, it's not just you. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, I was a theater oh, kid from uh, theater kid in high school, and uh, I saw him do his like one man show on a stage on Broadway, and I was like, "Oh shit, theater people can make it like big too." Sweet. Hmm. Mm. And so yeah. he's writing a comic book. You said about <clears throat> that whole thing. Yep. Yep. Okay. Cool. Cool. Uh, who we got? I feel like I should that know this is... person. Nee, he's niche. Uh, if anybody's ever heard of Troma Films or The Toxic Avenger or uh, Tromeo and Juliet or stuff like that, this guy is 42 years the head of Troma Films, like the schlockiest B-rate, <laughs> like gore, sexploitation kind of kind of movies. And he's been they've been around for 42 years. This guy is like a legend in the B movie like genre. Huh. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. All and right. he's just a fucking nut bar. And he brought like all these, <laughs> like all these, like, like you would look at the group of people he brought and go, they would have an orgy in fake blood <laughs> and you wouldn't be surprised. Great. Jesus. Yeah, it was okay. great. It was awesome meeting them. Okay. Meeting him. Uh, who's this man with the Chucky shirt? That, that is Brad Dourif, who is a huge character actor. He's done a lot of stuff. He was in Dune. He was in, he was Worm Tongue in Lord of the Rings. Mm. Uh, oh. He's he's the voice of Chucky. Oh, yeah. That guy was, um, he was a doctor in Deadwood. Chucky? Yeah, oh, crazy. Super demure, super super laid back and and just non assuming. I was like, hey, Mr. Durf, Brad, it's, it's nice to meet you. I'm Zeke. Oh, hey, how's it going? Just real <laughs> real quiet, dude. Huh? Okay. It's funny right. because he plays all these outlandish characters. He's great. Yeah, yeah. You you mentioned uh, Worm Tongue from Lord of the Rings. That yeah doesn't seem like him at all. Uh, oh, then oh. you guys are just eating some pizza. Yeah, it's a pizza. I yeah. forgot to put that in there. Yeah. I forgot to take that one out. <laughs> oh, drunk history. Guy, he's pointing at you. Is he drunk right there? No, he's not. <laughs> always drunk. He's always yeah, drunk. Yeah, that's Derek, Derek Waters okay. from Drunk History. Uh, he was a really cool guy. We took a shot of Absolute on stage. Nice. Talked about you know his beginnings on YouTube and then to College Humor. I can't remember. Or Funny or Die. I can't remember which one. Mm. And then he went got picked up at Comedy Central, and he's just... <laughs> Feeds people drinks and then they tell him a, a historical story. It's great. Yeah, what a what a fun job that he just drinks and gets people to do stuff for him. It's a good time. Yeah, <laughs> and he and he was like, I tried to get him to do a shot. He was like, uh, All right. <laughs> I'll, I mean, I'll I'll do one, but like, can we just? And I was like, Dude, I'm sorry, man. I had to ask, right? I had to. I mean, you're the one. <laughs> guy's like, Yeah, but it like. You understand? I was like, yeah, you probably get that 24-7, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the people coming up like, here, like, get drunk no. with me, Derek Waters. <laughs> yeah, jeez. <laughs> Drink a lot and then be funny. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> jeez. Uh, who's this? Oh, that's that's Kirkman, right? Yep, that yeah. is Robert Kirkman, the creator of The Walking Dead. And he has more dead. money than God. He is, he is such a sweet dude, too. He is, very much so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we were, we were, I had a chance to interview him, and also this is at the... The Skybound party that he held with uh, his, like, comic book wing, his gaming wing, all stuff like Disruptor Beam and all these, all these like mobile game stuff. Like he was, uh, they were all there, and he threw this party and rented out this this cool club. And we all just drank, and I went up and I was like, "Hey, man, thank you for inviting us Twitch to uh, San Diego Comic Con and for doing all the interviews and stuff." And he's just like a super sweetheart, and he and he's also is a very like. He'll fuck with you, which is cool. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, he'll flip shit, which is really. Does he, cool. does he just have the zombie extras like crawl out of things? And scare the shit out of <laughs> oh my god! No, nah, he doesn't Dude, go that, that would be far. The best That'd be the ever. best. Like, right? All right, we're gonna make this seem like a super low key, great industry party, and I just at a certain point, I want everybody to fuck shit up. Yeah. <laughs> like, just have zombies crazy. show up. <laughs> I feel fuck, like dude, I if it was me, that, man, that was great. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. If it was me, dude, that's right? what would happen. You have more money than God, like. Yeah, just... no, that's what you do when you have more money than God. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, 
that's just Next. another party pick. Me and the host. Hey, you met. That's uh, my new girlfriend. I I, yeah. I got a girlfriend in New York. Did Excellent. you did you talk to her about the Ubisoft hosting? Did you... She what? She works for Ubisoft? No, no, no. Why she isn't doing the, the Ubisoft <laughs> stuff at E3 anymore? No, she just no. I just thought I thought she was really attractive, and I told her so. And now we're boyfriend and girlfriend forever. Oh, See, okay. All right. <laughs> that's the president of Ubisoft. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's ah. Eve Gimon. No, I didn't talk to. Her. I honestly didn't talk to her about that. She was there for Archer, and uh, uh. I didn't do the interview because usually if there's if there's four or more guests, only one host. So I I ducked out of that one and and I let Jose take it. Mm, but okay. uh, yeah, Aisha was totally cool. I got like two seconds of her time. I was like, Aisha, I love you and Archer, and I think you're the best. Picture, yeah, sure. Psh, all right, bye. Okay. You're really pretty. Be my girlfriend forever. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Well, she might not know that she's my girlfriend forever yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. But uh, I'm putting out. I'm putting out into the into the ether. I'm putting out those right, vibes, you know those uh, feelings. All those all those books that say you just gotta you just gotta believe and then stuff manifests. <laughs> That's right. It's the right? secret, man. <laughs> it's a secret. Jesus. Uh, I don't know who this guy is. He he. I he looked like we could be like cousins. I think this or guy was taking a picture with you. I don't think. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Who no, he lost is. a lot of weight. People he thought it was. I was about to say that. I thought he. Yeah. I thought he was like projecting his face forward, which is a fat guy trick where you can make your neck look smaller if you do that when you're taking a photo. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, no, but, but no. he lost a ton of weight. Mm. Um, but he uh, that he was one of the like top five super coolest guys. He just walked by and I was like, "Hey, uh, Kevin, it's nice to meet you. I'm Zeke. Uh, I'll be your like." He was hired by MDB to do two hours of interviews on our stage, so we had like right. a two hour break. But I was. Uh, set to sit there in case someone canceled mm. or someone couldn't show up. So I would go up and just ask Kevin Smith, like, softball questions. Like, hey, what have you been doing? Well, what's the con life like? You know, how are your balls hanging? Whatever. <laughs> um, and uh, I told I told him that. I was like, I'm just here. The, I'm just the just-in-case guy. He's like, oh, cool, man. Nice to meet you. And he's like, immediately, boom, up. Yeah. I was like, fuck, yeah. Huh. And um, you'll see it later. As soon as – there's another picture coming later, I think. And I'll tell you the story of, like – the nerd like like nuclear explosion that was that happened okay i'm gonna move to the next um, one that is uh Pablo schreiber i can't remember schreiber schreiber i was, can never was remember was he in uh was he the uh god yeah the yep. tv show that i watched recently where he plays an irish yep. guy yep he's an american american gods. gods there you go yeah yeah yeah, he's the uh the leprechaun right from american yeah. gods yes and he's also mother and i didn't i was like sitting backstage going I know this guy, and I don't. I think he's an asshole. Why do I think he's an asshole? He's fucking porn stash from Orange Is the New Black. Oh, you're. Oh, oh shit. Fuck. He, yeah, dude. He he's put on some muscle porn though. Stash. Then he put on What's muscle. What's an actor? Or huh. Can't even tell when he's out of his porn stash. Yeah. <laughs> but it was familiar enough where I was like, why don't I like him? <laughs> but yeah, just picture the stash and picture him like chewing gum, like. Yeah. Yeah. I see it right. now. You're right. But he's a super cool guy. Uh, he. Uh, we have leather chairs in the back in the green room, and if you sit down too hard, the leather makes the like a fart noise <laughs> against like it just goes. <laughs> and he, he sat down and did that. He was like, "What the fuck was that?" And he did it, sat there like five times, like trying to make it do it again. <laughs> that's what you do when that happens, because no one else is ever going to believe you. So that's yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. You have to just commit to trying to make that sound again. Yep. So yeah. you can prove not only to yourself but to everyone around. Exactly. Like, you, you have to. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what? I don't know. What um, I was just gonna say, notice the 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 Don Fubar Jose photo bomb. Yes, dude. Perfect. Dude. Yeah. Perfect framing on that photo bomb. It's good. And unintentional photo bomb by none other than the Batman writer Zack Snyder, or I mean Scott Snyder, Zack Snyder. Right Scott here? Snyder, right there in the back. Yep. Huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't get a picture with him because he was there with Greg Capullo, and they were talking probably about Batman. I'm guessing, but probably. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's Liam Schreiber's brother. That's right. Hey. Uh, oh, this is nice. Nice. It's the voice. This of is Kevin Conroy. Yeah, the voice of Batman for 25 years in animated series and in the video games. And this is the one where I was going to say this was like the nerd explosion because Kevin Smith was already backstage. Kevin Conroy was coming up for his interview, and they saw each other and went, "Hey!" And they just immediately just hug. Like it was just Aww. like I was at the nucleus of like a, a nerd <laughs> atom bomb. <laughs> like nice. Kevin and Kevin coming together. <laughs> This might sound mean, but is it a little uh, coincidental that he looks like the Joker but voices Batman? 
Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Okay. The cartoon Joker, I should say. Yeah. 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 That's a little, a little weird. Uh, <laughs> Kevin Smith outside doing some uh, autographings. Yeah, this was this was actually really cool. He did two hours on our stage, and then I was interviewing for like half an hour, 45 minutes, and I saw a crowd gathering outside the curtain. I was like, what the fuck is even going on? And I looked out there, and Kevin Smith was out there the whole time meeting people, Aww. taking pictures, like, you know, shaking hands, hugging, doing all that stuff. He hung around, which I thought was like the coolest thing. He hung around for like another hour, hour and a half, just meeting all his fans. It's a cool dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, who's this bearded gentleman? That's Opie, man, from Sons of Anarchy. Ho ho. Oh. Yeah, dude, that's Ope. Uh, I, I didn't recognize him because he wasn't wearing all his sick leather. Mm. Yeah, he didn't have his cut on. Yeah, he didn't have his cut on, exactly. <laughs> uh, he is a really, really cool guy, really soft spoken, huge. He's six foot four, wears a size 16 shoe. And the reason why Holy I know shit. that is because we were sitting like cross legged, like, like I was interviewing him. And he was sitting the other cross-legged, so our shoes, our, like, soles were lined up. <laughs> and I was like, mother fuck. <laughs> it's like, I'm, I wear an average, like, I'm 10 and a half, size 16. It's just like. It's a big shoe. It felt me, it made me feel like a little girl. <laughs> yeah, that's a big shoe. Um, yeah, he's a big dude. And uh, we just talked about, like, the big, the good old days and Sons of Anarchy and what he's up to now. He lo he's a dog lover, so we talked about his dogs and shit. Um, he was also the, I didn't know, he was the, the deaf guy in, um, or the guy who got his ears blown out by a grenade in uh, Saving Private Ryan. Oh. He was guy I haven't like, seen that movie no, in a while. The grenade so. went up by my head. Does he die shortly after? No. Okay. I, it's I been forever so. since I've seen that movie. So I spoilers for Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, Co. Uh, oh, this guy's from uh, fucking Luke Cage. Yep. Yeah. Also Sons of Anarchy. He was Juice in That's, Sons of Anarchy. Oh, yeah. I love that dude. I forgot about it. he was. I totally forgot he was in that. Yep. Theo Rossi. Yeah. He was. I'm glad it was because they, they were both up just to talk about like the good old days, Sons of Anarchy, and whatnot. Um, but I'm glad he was up there because he was super talkative and super friendly and super outgoing, whereas uh, Hurst was not. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. Guy, but just like he gave you his one answer, and that was all he's gonna say. <laughs> but Theo would. So you having a good day? Nice. Yep. And expounded. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those are the the worst slash best type interviews for sure. Uh, yeah. Moving along, who's this man? I think this is where we started. Was it? Dude, no. come on, you guys know who this guy is, right? No. Hours and hours and hours. You played with him. I don't know. I'm out. Huh. I don't know. It's Nolan North. Oh uh, shit! Okay, he usually I've never has known not a what head Nolan on. Nolan North looks like. Yep. Yeah. Nolan North I don't want to know. I'm gonna among everything else. I'm <laughs> deleting this image out. from my brain right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can't stare at the screen anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he was super chill too. Uh, I talked to him. I thought I because I talked to some lot, lot of voice actors actually. I got a chance to interview the Animaniacs again, which I I didn't get a picture this time. Aww. But uh, we talked about like uh, vocal warm ups. I said, well, "What do you do for vocal warm ups?" He's like. I don't do nothing. I have a cup of black coffee. And I'm just like, <clears throat> all right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> that's, like, that's like his vocal warm-ups that he talked about. Like, yeah, because uh, uh, Jess Harnell and, and, and uh, Rob Paulson and Tress McNeil, they're all like, me, 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 ma, 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 be, yeah. be, 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 be. And he's just like, <clears throat> let's go. Huh. It was cool to talk to him. It was uh, neat to see the behind the scenes. Yeah. Mm. From one, uh, for, from anecdotal stories about him, I've heard he's just like when it comes to work, he's just a grinder. Like he works nonstop on a billion different voices, always going places to record VO. So I mean, yeah. everybody wants him, right? Like, yeah, yeah. The demand is there. Him and, so him and Mr. Why Baker. Why not take advantage? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't think I. I don't think there's a voice actor out there that I haven't met, or, or a huge video game voice actor that I haven't met yet. I think No North was the last on my list because I met Troy Baker. I met uh, um, uh, Jennifer Hale. Hale, Jesus Christ! I just blanked on it. I was gonna say Hudson, but I know that's not it. That's not it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yes, Jennifer Connelly. <laughs> Jennifer Hudson. <laughs> Jennifer Connelly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I met almost all of them. The uh, and and a lot of like big like TV voice actors like The Simpsons. I'm never gonna meet any of those guys. I'm pretty sure. But uh, I would still like the one on my bucket list. I still want to meet Billy West. Uh, the voice of Fry, mm. among others. Didn't uh, didn't the voice of Lisa die recently or something like? That? Am I misimagining that? I don't. 
know. I forget. Oh, I don't know. I, I thought um, I thought no, of I met Tara Strong, John DiMaggio, Chap Laura Chap Bailey. Uh, did you Mark meet Mark Hamill? I'm never going to meet Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill's not even on the list. Did you meet Mercer <laughs> when you were down here in San Antonio, or no? Uh, I might have. I'm not sure. I though. feel like you might because you left that Thursday or you left that Friday or something like that. That might have been when I picked him up. Uh, anyways, I, I know for Tilly. Yeah, I recognize uh, her. Yep, the voice of Bonnie on Family Guy, but also like you know she's been in tons of movies and stuff, and she's also uh of the voice of uh, Tiffany, the bride of Chucky, which is why she was there. And also, I want to take a picture of her because she's a poker player. Yeah, she ah, is. There you go. She's, she's like a world player. class level poker player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then we're back full circle. Back to being. Yep. Yeah. Sorry for boring everybody with that, but no, I like doing great. picture shows. That was it's awesome, great. man. Yeah, <laughs> that was really cool. Yeah. Uh, apart from the the usual interviews, did you was there things to see at New York Comic Con, or are you just glued to the Twitch booth? It's pretty much busy, busy all day. It's it's like being on a movie set. It's busy for fifteen minutes, wait a half an hour, busy for another forty five, wait fifteen, then you're back on. You know, it's it's just a stop and go thing all day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Much. And like if you like we got two hours, like everybody else got two hours when Kevin Smith was hosting, except me. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Because I was the just in case guy. But that was okay. I was cool just chilling out. Chilling, yeah. 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 Uh well cool. Uh I think you were weren't you on uh Future Man's visor thing too as well? Yeah, I was. No, I what was, is that? I was pretty drunk. <laughs> oh god. Well, I won't show clips of that then. What what is it's just like a like a music show like what I know that yeah, thing just, exists I don't know what it is though yeah it's just it's just straight up music people doing like their their live DJ sets and uh, DJ Obey or John Carnage as most of us know him uh, had like <laughs> oh, a, a half an hour of power he had like a half an hour of of tracks and stuff that he had mixed together and he was uh, doing some live like you know effects and tweaking and fading and that kind of stuff hmm. it was pretty fun it was. It was a really cool, like, idea. the The effects worked out. Um, Did I? I I'm got just it. sad that uh, that that Hulu is doing a future man. No, thing I was about that, to say that. I, I, yeah. it's a hard switch, but man, that is what a ridiculous thing that is. Like, and there's at first I thought surely it was like surely, the idea came first. Like, yeah. the, the, like. The idea for Future Man on Hulu came like six years ago or something like that. People like this is all hearsay and conjecture. This is not confirmed. I don't know anything. Yeah, you got to be this careful. Is all rumor, but uh, that's uh, that's what I hear. So I'm not I'm not sure what's going on. But God damn, is it? It's, it's super it, super close. When I first saw that, I was like, ah, that's just that's just coincidence. And then they showed like the trailer, and I'm like, wait a minute, like <laughs> a gamer sent from the future with the visor to save the world. Yeah. Like what? Yeah, what dude, the it's, fuck? it's very, very weird. And I hope, I hope that shit gets worked out because that shit is trademarked by Future Man, I believe. Yeah, yeah. yeah as long as he owns the trademark. Uh, again, we're not lawyers, so don't take anything we say exactly with legal uh, ramifications on it. But man, that is a. If you don't know what we're talking about, go look on Future Man's Twitter. He's been uh, kind of tweeting some stuff about it. That is. Yeah, thing. and by yeah. the way, this is this is all rumor and hearsay and stuff like that. Uh, we shouldn't even be spreading it. It's just. Yeah. It's something that we comment on because Future Man's a friend of ours. Yeah, it's just something that's weird and it's involved in like our community. So yeah. it's on me and yeah. Zeke's stream team. Yeah. yeah, 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 exactly. It's 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 definitely a it's it's an issue. And here's the thing, though this this is something that is the beginning of something that I'm sure we're going to see a lot across Twitch over the years when people have cultivated logos or sure. themes or characters, and then all of a sudden we see them pop up somewhere else where where mm. people want to make money off them yep. and not pay the person that came up with them. So yeah, I mean it, it's really unfortunate that it happened to the Future Man first, especially considering like how much his brand has been blowing up over the last yeah. year and a half uh, with Twitch having him host and everything and the shows and yeah, man, it's it it really sucks. And I'm I'm with you, JP. I was actually in that same boat too. I was like, oh well, okay, well it, I'm sure it, it's a little similar, but right. I'm sure they didn't like rip off the whole idea. Yeah. And then I was like. Oh shit! They ripped off the whole life. <laughs> the whole shebang. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, yeah. like, ev like Future Man, the visor, the, the what he does to go back in time, his story, his theme, like yeah. the 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 mechanism of entertainment via what he's doing. <laughs> it's yeah, real it's crazy. Uh, there was exactly. a typo in chat that I want to read because it's pretty hilarious, uh, and I hope this comes into court. <laughs> uh, 
He said, someone in chat says, or Raffle Pidgey says, uh, yeah, Future Man Gaming pitched the idea to his cat first. They forgot the H, and I like that it's his cat. So <laughs> <laughs> it's less funny in hindsight, but that was pretty good. It's a good typo. Good typo. Uh, speaking of cats, somewhat, Dodger, you launched the uh, coffee brand, I think, officially this week. Is it done? Is it out? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Um, yeah, we're, we're selling uh, whole beans, ground beans, and cold brew. And it's doing really well, and I'm super, super happy. We've been working on it for a while, so yeah, I, it's I think been like a crazy little venture. I remember, like, a, I think it was a month ago, sometime uh, ago, you mentioned, like, yeah, I'm going to Florida to go look at coffee beans. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, I'm going to go, we're going to have a coffee brand. So, is how does the thing yeah. people do? Is that like wine country? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm just going to Florida to, uh, experience some different roasts <laughs> like you do um yeah it's been super cool i partnered with a company that's based in florida and um we like developed a, a coffee for me and a very specific roast that is like my roast which is super cool yeah and yeah it was it was crazy because our original phone call they were like so what kind of coffee is like the coffee that you love like what would you like to aim for with this and i was like to be honest my favorite coffee is super shitty diner coffee <laughs> so like could we make a really good version of that <laughs> i'm no i'm totally with you on that like back right. in the days when they had smoking sections and you'd sit there and do like talk with your friends about poetry and dude i'm i'm all about like americana diner like being somewhere at 3 a.m and just having like a black cup of coffee right um, so I was like, I want to make, I want to make that, but like really, really good, right? Where you drink it and you're like, oh shit, this reminds me of that, but it's actually good. <laughs> it's not mm. like burnt and gross. Um, and they fucking nailed it. They didn't, they didn't make fun of me at all. They were like, we get all right, <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, I think we can aim for that, and huh. it's perfect. It's great. Uh, I want to so. know some behind the scenes here. How long did you work on this quote? <laughs> Uh, that was, um, sort of an amalgamation of what I said on our first phone call. Oh, okay. All right. So, yeah, we tried to like recall, uh, the, the kind of imagery that I was trying to put in their heads. And sure. Like sure. What, how did yeah. all this get started? Like, did you, did they reach out to you? Did you reach out to them? I'm, I'm always curious how these <laughs> things get the beginnings um, of them. Right. It's so my best friend's husband uh, works there and oh, they were okay. trying to, they were discussing like, um, the sort of online aspect of their business. And he was like, have you ever thought about partnering with somebody whose entire like brand is online? Like, is that an idea you guys have ever thought of? And they were like, uh, not really. And so they roped me in because he knew that I've wanted to do a coffee line for a while. So he was like, yo, do you want to, really pursue this because I might, I might like have a thing here if, if you want to really go for it and, and try having your own coffee line. And I was like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> right. So huh. I started, uh, yeah, I went to Florida and met with the owners and, um, they're all like obsessed with coffee. The guy that does the <laughs> roasting is like so into roasting, right? He's like, well, you know, if you roast it this way, like you get different fra flavor profiles and depending on the altitude where the beans were grown, like you might get some citrus notes, but like maybe you'll get peanut notes instead if you roast it for this amount of time. Like Man, he's all kinds it. of shit. Yeah. So I wonder if that's how streamers cool. sound when we talk about like the aspect of streaming. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> if people just look at us, they're just like, man, you're fucking, you're really weird and into it. Yeah. You know, the thing about streaming is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah that's how i imagine it going in my head most of the time so i, I don't bring that up but yeah yeah makes sense <laughs> makes sense uh yeah, yeah. well cool congrats on the uh on the launch people can get it right now right they can go and yeah, order you can you can get it right now orders are going out we have uh all the pictures up on the website we have mugs available all kinds of shit so do you have um, a bottle by the way of this cold brew next to you yeah, I have one. Right I was very surprised at how. Oh, but she's gonna hate this. I can't hear you right now. But I know. You're lovely. So that's where we're talking shit about. I was very surprised. <laughs> well, you're lovely. At how tiny it is. Like I guess I saw it in Dodger's tiny hands, and I was like, "Oh, that's a pretty big bottle." But no, that bottle is fucking tiny. <laughs> that's the first it's a, thing I recognize. It's, 
It's a 12 ounce bottle. Okay. All right. Like, um, would it be comparable comparable to like a, a soda. like a red like a red stripe beer like size? It's a little bigger than that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Um, but it's but it's cold brew, so it's like super concentrated. Um, Are you so supposed to dilute I, it, or do you just drink it as is? You're supposed to dilute. Well, the animals in this office they just drink it straight because they're like, I didn't sleep. Oh. <laughs> they oh just, okay. They just go for it. But uh, yeah, normally you would dilute it with ice or hmm. um milk creamer or something i can normally get like three cups of coffee out of one of these oh okay uh i have a question and it might be sacrilegious and if huh. if i'm not if this is a bad question to ask i'm sorry but uh i would definitely definitely buy this if it was in k-cups <laughs> you know that you can get uh you know i know you, you can get the self thing but nah, too much work <laughs> Give me probably, your brew in K cups, and I will buy cartons of it. We're probably never gonna do K cups. Yeah, why probably. Why it goes against the mission statement. Boys. Yeah, yeah. Just just put some of the ground coffee in one of the reusable boys and pop it in. It takes like right. one extra second, my dude. Bro, no. why, why not just make another uh, whole pot of coffee then? I mean, we're <laughs> just gonna do that. See, here's here's what you do. You create the aftermarket for the Dodger Coffee Bean Company. And you sell the K cups yourself, you know. Oh, you can yeah to a third third party it. Yeah, third party it. Yeah. Yeah, there you That's go. That's business right there, Zeke. No. <laughs> Don't do that, by the way. I won't so do much that. Business <laughs> no, I won't do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I, don't know. I mean, a future man can get away with stealing an idea. I mean, why can't I? Wait. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. You're right. <laughs> fucking steal everything. You're right. Didn't even think of that. <laughs> uh well cool let's uh let's kind of we spent 45 minutes talking not video games so let's talk yeah video let games. me uh, thank you for letting me just fucking pitch my coffee yeah no yes uh, make sure you send minutes. the money that was awesome yeah thank you. Uh, no, we, we, I, yeah, we've my done PayPal. that for other guests right i think so yeah i yeah i try to do that i don't tell the guests that i'm doing that but yeah most of the time if not all the times i think that's an important distinction to make too that you don't tell the guests that you're gonna like Right. Like pimp their stuff out. Right. Yeah. Yeah I, yeah. I didn't come on here today because JP was like, if you come on, I'll let you pimp your coffee for a while. <laughs> right. She didn't. <laughs> Wink. Yeah. Wink. Yeah. Because we reach a completely different audi audience than the podcast you're normally on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pro probably heard all this. There's yeah. no crossover at all. None. No. Zero. <laughs> Zero. Uh, well, where do we start? There's, there's video. Next. Man. Next week. And the week after is just an absurd amount of video games. I don't think you... You guys are going to TwitchCon like suckers. Wait, are, Dodge, are you going to Dodger TwitchCon? Are you going to TwitchCon? <laughs> am I going to Dodger? Are you going to Dodger TwitchCon? Sure Look, we're talking like this is so Dodger, people don't... Is Twitch going to DodgerCon? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's in Long Beach, right? So it's within super easy driving distance So you'll go to like a day. Uh, I have... I originally was like, oh, this is going to be great. I have no panels. And then... In the last month or so, I've been asked to be on a million panels. So now I, I will be there every day. <laughs> okay. All right. Gotcha. Well, these yep, two bye. suckers are going, but me and Coe are just staying home playing video games the entire time. I can't you're believe you're fucking proud Jewish. of that, man. I'm real I proud of that. can't believe you're fucking proud of that. The only reason I'm proud of that is because I know all the Twitch people are losing their fucking minds right now, making sure the convention's ready. And then I'm just like, yeah, I'm just not going. I hope it works out for you guys. <laughs> See, well, I was like, you get. hey, I'll guess what? I'm super, super happy that I'm going to be able to play all these games. And I, and I have to say, like, in terms of releases, it is TwitchCon is probably at the worst time it could have been this year. Without in terms a doubt. of where new releases are. Yeah. Um, but that being said, like, TwitchCon, man. Like, that's where all the Twitch viewers go. That's where all the people you know are going to be. Like, I mean, yeah, it, it's cool that we're going to play games, but that... I'm going to miss it, man. Like, if there was one con I was going to go to this year, that was going to be it. I, are, you I haven't... Staying, are you staying for Babu, mostly? Or? I'm no. staying for Rowan. Yeah. yeah. He's at a, at a very magical, lots of first potential age. And yeah, you don't want to I'm still kind of it. obsessed with him, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't really want to go. I mean, I should hope so, right? <laughs> You're not like, you know what? <laughs> I got to get away. This. Let's go to Twitch. Like, yeah. To the next day, you know, it was cool great. for like six months, but it's time to drag on the 7th. <laughs> And yeah, uh, if you, could think, start you know, to be honest, full thinking sentences, about returning that them. would be interesting. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Jesus. It was really smelly. Uh, Cole, what was the well, last? How about this? How about this, JP? Since you're not going to TwitchCon, uh -huh. why don't you tell all of your fucking fans where they can possibly meet you ever? I don't know. I don't know. The, I'm not going to BlizzCon. 
<laughs> I'm not Damn going to Twitch. Well, I have his home address around here somewhere. Hold on. Um, <laughs> you guys can meet him. I'm moving in like four months, so it's not the biggest deal if you just come to the front door. There's a gate. I'll probably say no. It'll be fun. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know the next con. I can't remember the last convention I was at. I, I guess. Oh, actually, no. That's that's. I'm going to PAX Unplugged at the end of this year. That's right. I forgot about that. When's the last time we did un uh, drop frames? As a group, that was last year at. Was that East, Pax East, maybe? Maybe. No, no, because you weren't there. No, I haven't done any cons this year. So was the last one TwitchCon last year? I think it might be. Did we do one at Pax South? No, I didn't go to Pax South. Yeah, I guess it was TwitchCon. I haven't done any cons this year, so it's not. This I haven't. Year. I haven't either. I don't think. Uh, I'm gonna bring cardboard cutouts of of Co and JP. Yeah. <laughs> so you can. So you can have you can have a photo with all the all the drop frames cast, <laughs> like all the drop frames regulars. Get some I'll full just have body. like little like, just like they'll be like just attached at my neck right here. Yeah, I'll send you the. And I'll put my arm around them like they're here. I'll send you uh, <laughs> it, it me JP hero and you can have that printed out on a big cardboard cutout next to you. And oh just, my god! Just put Give a beard it on me. it, <laughs> just like Sharpie a beard. <laughs> It'll be good. It'll be good. Uh, yeah, I guess the next con I'll be going to is PAX Unplugged in, in Philly. And Zeke, you'll be there for that as well. I'll be there. I'll be there for PAX Unplugged. Dude, yeah. I think Unplugged is going to be so fun. Yeah, I'm What's that I, again? I'm scared. I'm nervous. Why? I don't know what to do there. I'm, I'm scared. Like, I, I'm like, I usually, when I go to cons, I'm working usually. Yeah. So, like, with all this free time, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do with myself. Here, here's it's the like, thing. It's all, it's all board games, right? So, it's it just going to yeah. be like a huge. It's going to be a huge area with lots of tables with sit if you would like to learn this game, sit if you would like to join this game, right? Yeah. I think I think if you're the type of person where you don't really want to meet anybody at a con, this is probably the wrong con well, Zeke, for you. Here, here's the thing that sucks about going to conventions and not working them. They're really fucking boring. <laughs> like I get, I'd imagine. I I'd get, honestly imagine that. Yeah, because you're there and you kind of know what they are, but you're working them, so you're like, oh, that looks kind of fun. Anyways, I'm going to go back to work. Now you're like, oh, well, that looks kind of fun. Let's go like check green. it out. Oh, that, look, that looks pretty cool. Anyways, you want to go get some food? Yeah. All right. And then you leave. <laughs> like the during the daytime, yeah. <laughs> I would go to cons just for the night stuff. Right. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I don't know. What? Uh, I guess we could spend some time on TwitchCon. Uh, I have to be careful what I say, but what do you guys think they're going to announce? And I think we might all <laughs> yeah. we might all have to careful be careful because you know something. I like the way that he said that. I yeah. I know the answer, but what do you guys? Well, think? I mean, I so I'm dating a Twitch. A I'm dating a Twitch employee, so yeah, I know some things. But uh, I also think it's interesting that is it like the day of or the day before TwitchCon they're cutting off like the half price subs. They extended it to like the day before or something like that. Uh, it's October 18th, isn't it? So yeah. Yeah. yeah I guess that's they're mm -hmm. probably just gonna announce that's a full thing. I don't actually know if that's true, but I don't know why they wouldn't do that. Like, why would you extend um, it to TwitchCon? And then I don't, no. I don't think that they're going to make any kind of an announcement because uh, when they announced, uh, shit, what was it that they announced that fucked everybody up? Oh, Prime. the, the Prime. primes, shit, yeah. <laughs> when they announced the prime shit at TwitchCon, and everybody was like, "Why the fuck am I here? Right. I should be streaming right now." Yeah. Right? I don't think that they're gonna do something like that again because it just created the well, situation where everybody that came lost, to TwitchCon was like, "They actually up. They Twitch, Twitch very publicly, said yeah, that nothing would be, yeah. no partner stuff would be dropped on TwitchCon moving forward. They actually yep. like announced that at some point. Yep, That's most. Probably. I think so all partners they, got an email saying like, "Hey, yeah. we're not announcing anything." That's going to impact anyone that's at TwitchCon. <laughs> Please come to TwitchCon. Because <laughs> last year, the caveat was like, period. But after that, what they wanted to say, because last year we fucked up really bad. <laughs> right. it, no, it, it was a good example of learning from their mistakes. Yeah. And that's fine. That's cool. Like, yeah. thank you. <laughs> I'm probably going to go to TwitchCon next year, and I appreciate that they're feeling that way. So now yeah. we just got to kind of hope it's not on the other end of the boat, though. Mm. Now it's like, hey, if you didn't go to TwitchCon. Yeah. <laughs> you know, right. it's like. Uh, well, hopefully, hopefully it'll still be, you know, nice and even all around, but we'll see. Yeah. I don't, I think we said this last year, uh, in a couple shows after TwitchCon, I don't know, granted, we didn't know that they could do something like this last year. I don't know what they could announce that would be as big as Twitch prime for broadcasters. Yeah. It'd be, it'd be rough, man. It'd be, it'd be it'd be weird to, or, or it'd be difficult to surpass it for sure. The big thing with Twitch prime though, is that when it was announced, Right when it was announced, there was a finite 
X number of hundred thousands available, and we didn't get a or the people that went didn't get a chance at them until they were gone. And and still going by records, that was like the biggest month by far. Yeah, like was sure. the first one. Period. So yeah, as long as any future like here's the thing, I don't care if they announce awesome new features at TwitchCon. In fact, that's awesome. You should keep doing it. Just not things like that, like not time limited because you're here, you're getting screwed. Like, sure, right. announce awesome big new website features and all this great new stuff and keep that up. Twitch Prime was just like one of the very few things that shouldn't have been announced at TwitchCon. Like 95% of it's fine. Just <laughs> that well, one sh thing. Well, shouldn't have been announced or shouldn't have been activated? Oh, it should have been announced and not activated until days later. Absolutely. Okay. It, should, yeah. it could have been announced a month later or starting December 1st or distinction. something like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, no, that lost people thousands of dollars well the other thing you couldn't irl stream back then <laughs> irl wasn't a thing right so That's people true. just so we had no option all we had was like hey uh guys twitch prime's a thing on twitter let's go check it out oh my god <laughs> that dude down there that dude right in that corner right there he streamed from the hotel room. oh you did the hotel you room stream? Fucking, you better fucking believe he did he, <laughs> he's true. doing that every he's doing the everyday thing man it was yeah. it was a good morning i'm not gonna lie <laughs> fucking i bet man i yeah. wish i would have brought my streaming setup i would have just fucking farted for 30 minutes and <laughs> And gain like you know, a few hundred subs <laughs> oh, would have been great. <laughs> oh my god, that's good. I I do think that in terms of the floor, uh, yeah. because last year it was um, a decent number of games that had some sort of Twitch functionality, and then people who were along the same lines of like Streamlabs, right? Mm -hmm. um, I think because they've announced extensions there are probably going to be people who are developing extensions that have booths there um i'm assuming i'm hoping that the uh creative streamer area is going to be bigger mm. this year because last year corner? it was cool but it was pretty small yeah yeah let's see what happens when i, I would... click on this they're so, still calling it a corner which isn't good <laughs> yeah there's an art gallery there's a world of warcraft community art exhibition and then bob they apparently brought bob ross back to, to life he's there Ah, great. <laughs> Still, like, the biggest creative adventure by far. Yeah. In, yeah. By far. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Uh, wait, see, a lot of this stuff I don't, I haven't even seen that's there. So the Stream Workshop is there. Uh, people are going to think that's the Steam Workshop. That's going to be confusing. Uh -huh. <laughs> I wonder how many IRL streams are going to see this year from people walking around TwitchCon. I, I bet you a ton. I was thinking that. I think there's going to be a ton of people walking around IRL I'm streaming. I'm probably going to be exhausting. Some yeah. yeah, like yeah. I, I'm actually as somebody who's not going, I am legit interested in checking those streams out. Yep, there's <laughs> a lot of uh, a lot of like invitational tournaments this year too. There's the <laughs> got the H1Z1 stuff. There's the PUBG stuff. Um, I think all of that is streamed. Zeke, what, what were you chuckling at? Uh, yeah, I just had an idea about IRL streamers and being like, I'm gonna have some. Like I was thinking about like having like. <laughs> Like tear away pants with nothing on underneath, just so like, here's your TOS violation. Woo! That's what you get, bitch. Woo! Just become the party, the party boy of Twitch. Just run around. Yeah, with and just and just like get people, just get people like 24 hour timeout or bans from from Twitch just because they're doing IRL shit. Oh, well, people God. people were IRL streaming at the last uh, Twitch party, right? And I was like, oof. Oh yeah, that's right. I think I messaged you and I was like, man, I'm so glad. Like I kind of want to be there, but man, that would yeah, suck. Yeah, we were Twitch talking friend. about it. I was like, I'm so fucking glad I'm not there right now. Yeah, that should that's be dangerous, man. That should be yeah, not you can possible. Watch I've seen it. partners at Twitch parties that clearly never want what happens there to be public. <laughs> like, yeah. like it, it, like people well, who are diametrically opposite of how they are on stream drunk. Right. Um, no one wants to be drunk and put onto the internet unknowingly yeah. like yeah. that's really fucked yeah. up that's that's wow. super fucked up uh wow. yeah i think they probably would behoove them to put it like a no irl streaming at the twitch party we ask that you do not live stream the twitch party thanks yeah <laughs> but again how do you how do you like enforce that because all you need is a phone that. right like you just pop out your phone and well, hit stream that's just true. ask i guess yeah. yeah well i was i was it'd be it'd be real easy for twitch to just like knock you those streams down real quick you know like that would if they would be, if i mean it's private property if they don't find, want people right? streaming on it that's i mean I'm just, yeah. i would assume that would make those streams not streamable according to their own tos yeah maybe right yeah. i don't know if you just have one person who's able to you know shut down a stream if they see a, a stream at at the twitch party they can just be like boop <laughs> right <laughs> yeah 
Just have a dude at the very front, like the same guy that checks like people's hands. It's like, by the way, <laughs> instant ban off Twitch if you stream from here. Just a heads up. Jeez. Yeah, just FYI. Got the IRL section open right here, so I'll be I'll be watching. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm scrolling through the um, the different things on the schedule here. Uh, one of them was like an accounting 101 thing for streamers. That's kind of interesting. Dude, uh, that's a that for if you're up and coming. And you are starting to make this your living. If you're one of those one of those few that can do that, go to that. Yeah, it's important because man, you can get boned real hard by the IRS if you're not prepared. Yeah, oh, very true. Yep. Uh, there's our good friend Gas Mexican on the quality versus quantity ratio. Uh, that man, I don't there's know a the lot. Name of any. <laughs> oh, okay. So was this announced? You guys are roasting Jericho. Yep. I didn't know that was a it's thing. It's on the, uh, yep, he's looking for one more roaster. And uh, Oh, Justin Wong's and on there. Like, Zeke, no, you better, yep. Zeke, are you on there or no? No, like, I'm not. Oh, man, I was going to tell you to just lay into Justin Wong. But <laughs> 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 so, you can't. You can't. Uh, no, I have prior engagements, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, this will probably be fine. Do, do you know if uh, Sour Kool Aid Show is is getting jokes written or are are guests responsible for? Oh, uh, he's uh, here. Here's the thing. Okay. What's happening is, I if I'm not mistaken, I believe all of everything that's being written is being run through the filter of Sour Kool Aid Show. So okay. he'll punch up the jokes. He'll get the idea like. I want to talk about his, you know, big nose or whatever, his fucking flat ass or something like that. Right. Can we make that a joke? And he'll punch it up, be like, "Yep, we can do something okay. like this or like that." And so like that. As far as I know, I think that's what's what's going to happen this time. Okay. All right. Uh, I like this panel name, the gayest panel at TwitchCon. Perfect. That's good. That's a good name. That's mm. a good name. Good people on there too. Uh, but is it really the gayest? I mean, I mean, you can I mean, have uh, using that's that's pretty presumptuous. Just saying, <laughs> it is. That's using fair. superlatives is rough, man. Because if I go there and it's not like the gayest thing I've ever seen, I'm gonna call them out. You gotta just have... yeah, now it sounds kind of weird because it's like I was at TwitchCon last year. And there were some pretty gay panels. Yeah, I was <laughs> yeah. at TwitchCon and I was at the gayest panel ever. You're gonna have to step up your game. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yuck! 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 <laughs> All right. Anyways, no. no? Okay. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Oh, there is a PJ Sultan. East yep, versus West. West yep. okay. East versus West. Is that Does PAX? that mean it's like people who have already been in PJ Sultans, I assume? Let's see. I'm, I'm going to click like on PAX it. Like PAX West versus PAX East? Uh, oh, yep. Alex. I love him. PJ Sultan, East versus West. This, uh, yeah. Yep. They're all the names. Why? That, oh, okay. It makes sense. I saw the SNES and I was, nope, but his name is Biz Sness. So there you go. That makes sense. Yeah, he's a talking SNES on his show. <laughs> okay, perfect. Um, yeah. Top clips of the year. That'll be fun to watch. Uh, oh, okay. If you like League of Legends. Yeah, okay. I thought that was like Twitch driven, but that's community driven. Interesting. Oh, okay. Huh. Uh, well, I could say I'm only halfway through these. There's a lot of panels. Jesus it turns out Christ, there's so many panels yeah. then. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look, it's the co-optional lounge. Oh, hey, weird. I wonder who's on there. I don't know. Let's click it. Uh, oh, look. It's, <laughs> oh, look it is. God. Yeah. Who is that? Oh. <laughs> uh, Maybe this time I won't show up at the, you know, five minutes beforehand wondering if I'm at the wrong room. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, I, again, back to like, what are they going to uh, announce next Friday? The, the keynote's at 12, which is three Eastern and it's an hour long. Um, and I guess we'll just have to see. Um, yeah. I know I that can't wait. I can't wait for for uh, for DJ Wheat, aka Jobs, to get yeah, out Steve, there. Yes, Steve DJ Wheat Jobs. To... And one more thing, <laughs> it's all yeah. going to be free. You know that he not. I wouldn't say <laughs> idolizes, but he has a shit ton of like uh, respect for Jobs and channels Jobs when he does that type of stuff, right? That's that's oh, on purpose. Sure. Okay, yeah. I yeah. mean, well, I don't know it's, if it's on purpose. But no, it, it's it's yeah. on purpose, without a doubt. That's that's who he's trying to channel when he does that stuff. With better hair. Without a doubt. Yeah, he does yeah. have pretty good hair. Without a doubt. Uh, so yeah, that's TwitchCon starts next Friday, and uh, it's a three day thing. This it was three days last oh year, my right? God, it's so soon. Yeah. 
I, was it, it three days simple. or was it two days? I thought it was two days. The last first year. one was two days. The first right? one was two days. And I think they extended it the next year. Yeah, I think it was oh. three last year. I don't get this year. Maybe they did Maybe. do three last year. Yeah, yeah. I think. Okay. Um, and I think <laughs> it's all a blur. It's not. Uh, we <laughs> it haven't was a crazy it. three days, man. <laughs> it was a crazy three days, man. <laughs> we haven't locked it in just yet, but uh, next Wednesday there won't be drop frames because it's Co's uh, big anniversary, and I think Zeke's probably flying out Wednesday or Thursday, right? I'm flying out Thursday, but I will be I will be balls but, deep in South Park. <laughs> Oh, right, right, yeah. South Park comes oh. out. I'm going so, to play that up until I absolutely must go, or I beat it, or I must go to TwitchCon. That makes sense, yeah. Yo, so what we're going to do... I'm so excited for that game. Yeah, I think a lot of people are. We're uh, we're trying to see if we can restream the keynote uh, for like a special Drop Frames episode. If we can't, then we'll go live right after it uh, goes off air with me and Co. And uh, whoever the fuck else. I, I gotta figure oh, out that'd who, be cool. Yeah, I got to figure out who else is not going to, to TwitchCon. No. If you're gonna restream it, let me know because I'll because I'm not working, so I'll take time out to. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Can do, join it, you guys. do the hotel. Sure. Okay. Yeah, cool. dude. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll let you know if we can we can do that stuff. But uh, <laughs> let's talk video games for a bit. Um, mm. I know we need to talk about Shadow Mortar, but I think that's gonna take a little bit longer than we have before break. So let's just start off with Dodger. What do you what have you been playing recently? That's got you uh, thinking, got you interested. I mean, I'm sure you guys have talked about it already. I just I spent a lot of time on Cuphead in the last like week or so. <laughs> yeah, we we ranted um, about it last week, but I'm feel sure, free to do I'm more. I'm sure you did. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I really fucking enjoyed that game. But I I love games that are really straightforward, just boss fight, boss fight, boss fight. I really loved Fury. Um, mm. I loved Jotun until the very end, um, because Odin was a piece of shit and that was a garbage fight. But. Uh, <laughs> I love any I love any game that's that's like that, and I I think that it's because I uh, they they feel really difficult but very fair to me, you know. And that way, when I am finally successful, I know that it's because I improved, and sure. that feeling is super worth it for me. Yeah, um, yeah, that's one thing I, I enjoyed about Cuphead. It, nothing seemed bullshitty. Yeah, the parry every yeah. once in a while I would cry bullshit, but most of the time it's because I was I was just late or early. <laughs> well, the random dice. We already talked about Oh, the well, the random dice. dice. Yeah, you can't. They're too random. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I, th I think the, the final fight, this fight that people are seeing right now <laughs> against the devil, I think that was my favorite fight in the whole game. Really? Yeah, yeah. I think so. I don't... Um, I like King Dice, man. I had a I had a blast doing King Dice. He was my least Dude, favorite. So many people fucking hate King Dice. Yeah. I, I loved it. I loved that it was like you know <sighs> trial and error. You had to figure out new things. Like that you didn't know what you were gonna get as far as boss fights and stuff like that. And yeah, I like the variety of it. Yeah. I, I think the other reason I hate him so much is because I spent so much pointless time on him, like laying into. Me well, just you, fucking you up the, random. Like, restart thing, like right because I wasn't timing load, it. Right? I was just I was just jumping every single time and just went with fate and it hit four times on the restart and so that like yeah. soured my experience with it. But that's my own fault. There's there's no other person to blame but me. I, no. I actually agree with the people that love it though. I I thought this fight was incredible. It was such a mm -hmm. cool theme for a fight. I I yeah I loved it. I yeah. loved it. Um, I don't know what my favorite fight was. Maybe the. I saw the B. I actually like went back and watched the B fight because I don't remember what that fight was because I only did it once and that yeah. fight looked like it was. Oh wait, probably you, a lot of you fun. beat it like first try? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's because that fight's really easy with the the charge up stuff. Like the uh, charge thing makes the game. I, we I, talked about this last week with Zeke, but it's it's really silly how uh, trivial it makes some of those fights. I basically only use the pea shooter for the entire game because. A lot of the other guns uh, were, you know, like you get a burst of damage, but it's not as much as just the consistent damage of the pea shooter. Yeah. So, um, and I, I hate charge weapons in games in general anyway. So I the never really went for the charge gun, even though everybody's like, oh my God, it's so OP that they're having to like nerf it. <laughs> the, the fun thing, at least for me about the charge one in this one, and I didn't realize it till after about like two or three hours of using it. There's a really hard audio cue. When I say hard, like very noticeable audio cue when the gun's charged. And so you don't even have to like think about how long you're charging it or anything. You just wait for that, the loud, like singular horn to go off in your ear and then you just let go. Or if right. anytime you dash, it automatically lets it go as well. Um, so after a while, I got into the rhythm of just doing that. And, and I found that to be super fun. 
Besides that was that. the last okay. weapon I got and the last weapon I used, and I was so upset because I was like, by the God way, damn it, by the way, I not have this. I did not <laughs> expect this of uh, Gas Mexican, but when he played this game, I've never seen him be more upset in any video game ever. And Zeke, I feel like you would get the most out of watching Max be upset <laughs> after what <laughs> happened with uh, Mario after that Kart. that tweet from Twitch? Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Wait, <laughs> that was fucked up, too, yeah. Yeah. No, I got a, I got a, there was a tweet, tweet from Twitch with my name. It was like, hey, Zeke of the Third, is Cuphead difficult? And it showed me like fucking raging like I do from time to time. <laughs> like, and I busted, dare you? <laughs> I busted my controller and I threw it out the fucking, yeah. threw it into the hallway. It happened live and, last uh, week on the show. Man, boy, did I get a lot of hate for that. But I painstakingly answered every single hate. <laughs> With some love, I saw a lot with of that love. Too. I kill, try yeah. to kill him with kindness. Yeah, some really of those did. threads were fantastic, by the way. Yep, I had a, I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun <laughs> answering and re-answering like people who were calling me names, rightly so, but telling them how mean they were for calling me names. Yeah, even if they were, you know, their assessment was correct of me. Right. Yeah. Um. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I did have a lot of fun doing that, and honestly, I gained like. Overnight, like gained like 300 Twitter followers. It was great. So. <laughs> <laughs> what was a success then? Uh, yeah. One thing I will say after beating the game, watching people play this, uh, there's so many things that are possible on boss fights that I had absolutely no idea were possible. For example, I didn't know you could kill those two guys on the sides. I never killed them when I did this oh. boss. <laughs> I just didn't know you could well, even damage them. Well, you you beat this boss like way quicker than I did because I kept getting to this final stage and thinking, man, do I like, how am I supposed yeah. to do not realizing that you literally just keep hitting his eyeballs. Right. Yeah. I'm an idiot, I guess. <laughs> and, um, so I could have beaten this dude so much earlier, which was infuriating to realize. Um, but I had done that section enough times. Oh, so and was this, like, that, that little hand together thing. You can duck it. Yeah. You know, no, that. I messaged her I immediately after she beat us. Didn't like, know that either. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh my God, JP, you like fucked me up a little bit because it right after that first stream that I did where I was trying to beat him, JP messaged me being like, "Just FYI, after you beat this guy, I'm gonna tell you a really easy way to like do this whole section." And I was because <laughs> like, I didn't want to tell her because it's like what? such a backseaty thing, but I knew I that was gonna no. fuck with you mentally. <laughs> it did. It totally did. I was like, "What am I missing?" I like fucking was thinking about all the charms that i have i was like shit what is what's the way what's the easy way to do this yeah. no it was fine because it, it did make me think more because i i didn't the whole game i never really considered other guns i never really considered any charms or anything so i i it did kind of force me to think about other ways that i could do this fight yeah um just wound oh, up i hated myself uh after watching because i watched uh, uh aurelian Right. Play it for a little bit. And I hated myself because I was like, she asked one little tiny question. Yeah. And I was like, backseaters, ho! <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, yeah. you know, you're going to do this. That gun is garbage, blah, blah, blah. And I, and I looked at what I typed later and I went, oh, I'm what I hate. Dude, I did the same oh, thing dude. to Max yeah, when I was watching it's him. It's so hard not it's to. It's so hard not to do that, man. Uh, yeah. And, and of course, Max, Matt. He was already in a bad mental. He was already upset at the game, and then when I joined the channel, he got like doubly upset. <laughs> <laughs> <I bet. laughs> so, because then he's like playing the game with me, oh, watching him and commenting in the chat. You are the fucking worst for that. <laughs> if I'm already salty and I see JP yeah. in chat, it's just like no. I saw the fucking... like, I saw his entire disposition change, and I was just like. Oh, he's actually like really upset now. <laughs> Joined the chat. And the anytime you would get close, I would watch like you can very quickly see where streamers are watching the game and when they're watching the chat with how their eyes shift. And when he would get close to beating a specific level, I would spam and chat like, let's go max, and then put like some one of his emotes or something like that. And he would just shift over. And every time he did that, he died right in like a second after. And so afterwards, I was like, Max, I'm really sorry. I was just, I was yeah. just here to watch you play. I'm sorry about that, man. He's like, it's okay. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know you could duck under the head there. Yeah. I went, the, yeah. I went to the, I went to the edges. Snake head? I, I was like jumping back and every one, like every third time I would get hit by a guy coming the other way. Yep. 
Yeah. Same Fuck. Here. Yeah. All right. New strategies. Cool. Cool. Very cool. All right. Yeah. You well, can also. The thing, like, this game in particular. Like, I am adamantly not like a no spoiler kind of kind of a chatter. Right. <laughs> you good? Yeah. No, you're back. Okay. It broke for me. I'm sorry. Um, this game in particular, the just I don't know what it is about this particular game. It just made me want to like fucking help because I felt the pain so hard on this one. Like yep. usually, I like I like seeing people struggle. Like I love people like watching people who are bad at games be bad at games. <laughs> I love that, but like this one, I just like did she just ask me for help? <gasps> Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, and I, I think with my chat, it's really hard, too, because I have a don't help me unless I ask chat directly rule because I talk to myself while I'm playing, right? So I'll be like, mm. fuck, how am I supposed to do that? I wonder if I'm supposed to do this and this. And then people will answer and get timed out, and they're like, she fucking asked! Yeah. What the shit? You know, and they get so frustrated. It's really frustrating but, uh, for, for people. In the, like, I feel for people after the fact. When I'm in them, yeah. when I'm like purposely like don't fucking help me, and then I time someone out when they help me, I'm like, ah, you fucking shouldn't have done that. But afterwards, I'm just like, man, that fucking sucks. Like they're just they're just answering questions that they thought totally. were there to answer. Uh, well, and that's, that's why I, you never get timed out for very long in my chat. It's like maybe one second, right? Right, right. <laughs> um, it's 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 literally just purging the message so that I don't see it. But once, yeah, once I figure something out. I'm like, oh my god, that must have been so fucking frustrating to watch me do over and over and over again and know exactly how to make all the pain go away. Right. right? So, right. like, I get it. I get that it's super frustrating. Like, I watch my friends play games like this all the time, and I'm always like, oh my god, right? Like, we all know what that feels like, but as the person who's playing the game, there's there's a, a really nice victorious feeling to figuring something out um, oh. that is really hard to get when you're streaming because there are so many people there and because there are so many people who want to help. But like, that's my favorite kind of gaming experience is being really frustrated and not understanding something and then having that, that victory, right? Like right. that's, that's my favorite kind of experience. So, yep. I've learned over over doing streaming for so long that once once I fail at something, it's an unknown number, but it's a given number of times that I just immediately go look directly to the camera and go, I am not looking at the chat yeah. Yeah. until I figure this out. <laughs> Please know that I want to interact with you guys, but I know you want to help me. So just let me figure this out and then I'll get back to reading what you're saying. Right. Oh, for for me, it's I I know that if I've fucked something up a certain number of times, there is somebody in there who's typing something along the lines of like, "Oh, the butt clench," right? And that will tilt me. Mm. Chat tilts me way more than the game ever. Oh, does. What, so I, I think I, that's true I for everyone. Feel the edge of it. I'm just like, I'm not gonna look at you guys. I love you all. You're great. Thank you so much See, for but, being here and supporting I think me. But, but I did Dodger, not look at you, you mean you don't love those people coming and say? Dude, how many times has she done this? You know JP beat this in like two tries. Right. That happens to <laughs> everyone. And I hate no, I comparisons, this man. Off, like in two seconds. Why are yeah. you still doing this? Is she, is she trolling us? <laughs> yeah. I think it's interesting to, to find out like what each of our like little things are. What do you mean? Like our like, tells? Like when you when you're when you're getting frustrated at something that you can't you haven't won and fail, 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 fail. What will will just tip you off? Oh. Will just trigger you. Uh, the worst one for me is, uh, I think talking about it will alleviate it a little bit. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Uh, <laughs> the worst one for me is somebody in chat saying, God, this is so fucking hard to watch because oh, my, right. oh, yeah. my whoa, 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 whoa. response is, no, fuck, like, no. there's so many other streamers you can watch. <laughs> you, <laughs> Z Dodger, you, <laughs> Dodger, you yeah, could take that it. further and say, this hurts to watch. I get that one yeah, a lot, and I'm just like, oh, I hope it hurts real good, you that. asshole. <laughs> yeah. I hate that so much. Yeah, yeah. Here we are giving you free entertainment, <laughs> and it is hard for you to accept our free entertainment. Yeah, yeah but when they say I that shit, I picture you sure. do not get it then. I picture yeah. like Clockwork Orange. Like they are like being yeah. fucking forced. Like so no, no, please. 
I will show you what it means to hurt to watch. <laughs> oh god. Uh yeah, that one that one doesn't that one used to trigger me pretty bad where it's like this hurts to watch, but now I'm just like okay, don't watch. There's I literally say there's a thousand other streams to watch. Go. We'll see you later. Have fun. If I'm if I'm like if it tilts me enough when I see that, that's how I respond too. But then that always leaves you wide open for somebody to be like, I'm just trying to support you. Like, right. I'm here because I like watching you, okay? And I'm like, great, then don't say that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's, that sucks too when they... It's painful to be here. Just like, just ended that. Just stop. Go. Yeah, just stop. No, there's no more talking. Um, <laughs> I think... have this moment together. I think for oh, me, Co, Co definitely hit, it on, hit the nail on the head when... It, when the comparisons happen like so and so did this and so and so that's oh, probably what you. triggers me the most more than anything um, comparing you to others. yeah 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 and in, in in a sense of like they know it, it people could say that and not mean anything by it like they could just say that but a lot of the ones that get me is when they know why they're saying it and they know that it is going it's like a shitty way of saying that that happens a lot uh, yeah. And that'll be if I'm already upset at the game. That's when the hate gets redirected to chat, and that's just not good for anyone. Because uh, <laughs> I think that's usually the way to relieve stress for gamer or for streamers when they're having a difficulty time with the game, is they just feed it back to chat, and that's like one of the easiest things to do is to release the anger on someone else. <laughs> I just want to tell Max how garbage that, that spread gun is. No, that's I what I was telling him, dude, in the chat. I was like, Max, that gun, don't... that gun is fucking worthless. Never, ever use it. It's terrible. That's what I was telling Yo, him in the it's chat, really dude. really good for the devil, though. Yeah. When, I, when yeah. I had to go back and do the devil co-op, I was like, holy shit, I wish I had used this spray gun during I the devil when the I was by myself. I on the devil, too. Yeah. I'm, I'm with you. Yeah. It, uh, there was one point... <laughs> You, one of the other big tells when someone's actually upset, when a streamer's actually upset, is when they start singing songs about how fucking bad they are. You know that like that, when songs happen that are, yeah, Max did that a lot towards the end and I felt really bad. Oh. <laughs> I have a crescendo. Loud, yeah. loud, 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 loud. Quiet. Oh dangerous, yeah. Dangerous, danger zone. Danger Quiet's quiet. really danger zone. Danger zone, yeah. danger zone broken oh, shit. Yeah. Danger zone's pretty. It's the yeah. calm before the storm, Zeke. Yeah. There's a that's that's pretty much, yeah. Yep. It's yeah. happened to you, you a few see, you times. You see the actually. fuse, and then it enters the bomb. Yep. And yep. you're waiting. You're like, oh fuck. Here oh comes. fuck. Yeah. Here comes. I have a, a pretty. I I stay patient for a decently long amount of time, but if I've hit the point where I'm not patient anymore and I just want to fucking beat it, it's silent. Die. Fuck. Yeah. Silent until I die. Fuck. Like that's that's what I do over and over again. Yeah, the other pretty big tell is if I'm in comms and I'm I find myself just bitching so much about the game, I mute comms and just don't talk to anyone that I'm playing with. <laughs> then it becomes real bad for everyone. I've uh, I've, I've played multiplayer games with you before yep. where uh, I've been like JP hasn't talked in a while and then I'm like he's probably muted himself. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> forgot. I, that might have been Mario Kart maybe. Uh, definitely muted yourself on Mario Kart. Yeah. Yeah. Th there was something else that we played too, but I can't, I can't remember it, but I'm one of my yeah. tricks and I did this in dark souls too, is when you get to that point where you start telling yourself like, okay, and you start saying this out loud. Of course, I'm clearly missing something. Okay. This boss, he does two attacks from the left side. Then he does, and you start like choreographing the fight, like out and stride it. You start like, okay, I'm going to go to the left now. Now I'm going to go to the right. And you just, every single thing you do, you say out loud. Yeah. yeah. And I've found that I start doing that as I get more and more frustrated. I'll start doing it without even realizing I'm doing it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Cuphead's I'm great trying to game, think of like the, the <laughs> biggest trigger for me now, like, cause so like it, some of them get just repeated over and over again. They, they, they dulls the lash. I'm trying to think of like the one that's new. Oh, that's, that's, that sets me. That sets me the fuck off. Com comparing still works, but it has to be the right comparison. Like, people compare me to Co. It doesn't bother me. Yeah. But they compare me to JP. That fucks with me. I I get that. <laughs> I totally get that. Uh. Hmm. I don't know any any of the new ones. They're kind of all age old, in terms of what uh, what triggers people. Or triggers uh, triggers. the sleeper does it for me a little bit. The resident sleeper does it for me sometimes still. Oh, oh. Like, oh my god, well, he can't pass this. That's kind of that's rare in my chat, I think. 
The salt emote, I think, is a classic when people just put a salt emote when you're not and like that's, um, that's not really you know, that's not necessarily bad though. No, 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 I'm just saying it's a classic one that will incite people. Like the whole reason that they'll put the salt is to incite the streamer. Uh, that what, used to get me a lot yeah. when I was first starting. Streamers kind of embraced that though. Totally. Like we we kind of made that ours. Yeah. So yeah, we took that. <laughs> well, we, took we took that from chat. We took it for that's us. right, Co. <laughs> the salt represents anger or being salty. The the sleeper represents like. Being fucking boring, right. which is the right. worst right. sin yeah. an entertainer can can commit. Sure. Right. That is sure. true. Uh, yeah, I don't know any, like, quote, new ones. ZK. I've been trying. I'm racking my brain trying to figure it out. But, yeah. Uh, you can see that Max has gotten into the silent stage right now and just casually accepted. I love it, dude. I love that feed off of it. I just I want to see him. The, the eyes are not. They're barely open. They're open just enough to see the TV. The yeah. mouth. And, and pencil line thin, just now I, you clamp know, together. Now I know <laughs> if I'm playing a game that's fairly difficult and Zeke shows up in my chat, I know that he's not rooting for me. I'll know this now. <laughs> <laughs> I think Zeke's, Zeke's rooting for like, you. Now, Fuck, that's not necessarily keep, true. Keep I want failing. it to last. I want the anger to last long enough so it's still fun for me, but right. not long enough where you want to hate every, everybody and just mm. er, want everybody in the world to die. <laughs> Here, here's what Chad actually brought up a brand new one. I want to be there for the win, though. That's mainly what That's it is. why I like being there. That's why I watch yeah. Cuphead streams now. Yeah. Chad brought up a good uh, like trigger thing. Is this sponsored? Oh, my God. I actually hate that. Like People just join the chat and be like, hey, is this sponsored? <laughs> and you're just, um, and I know that, I know that it's, not, it's <laughs> not ever said in a way where they're like trying to piss you off, right? Like I yeah. know that, but it feel the only reason that that one feels insulting to me. <laughs> the only reason that that feels insulting to me is because that's saying you as a streamer aren't following the guidelines or like like if it's not obvious that this is a stream, then you as a streamer fucked up in like informing your viewers that it's a sponsored stream, right? right. And so I only I only feel insulted because I'm like, of course I'm gonna follow the rules. Like, of course I'm not trying to pull the wool over anybody's eyes, right? Like, yeah. if this was sponsored, well, you would know. And there would be things everywhere. That's probably another one too. Is when a chat tells you to do something on stream to fix the stream or to make the stream better, like that. Mm -hmm. I think that feeds into the, like the slight ego that every streamer has to have. When someone from chat yeah. tells you that you're doing it wrong <laughs> in terms of streaming, right. that'll definitely piss me off. Uh, but yeah, I feel bad showing Max here because he's it was just a bad he was in a dark place. But you've shown him for a really I've long shown time him for a really too. good time because I'm enjoying it again. That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. By the way, Zeke, yeah, the funniest bad. moment from this entire thing, he <clears> got <throat> to the very end boss, and for whatever reason. The guy, the yellow jacket, or whatever the boss is, I think he's the yellow jacket. Yeah, he, he doesn't show up, jacket, yeah. and you just see it. He just gets shot from off screen, and Max no. can't shoot him at all. And he's just like, oh "What the god. fuck is this?" <laughs> oh fuck? my god! He got there with like three lives, and he just couldn't crazy. do anything. Wow. Yeah. Something that I, something that you learn afterwards. There's a there's a you can pacifist all of these. You can you can get oh, through yeah. all these without you firing a shot. Anybody. You yeah. can go past that fucking guy just by getting a good jump and yeah. a and a dash. Yep. Yeah. Over top of that guy, and, yeah. you're and that's it. <laughs> you, you don't yeah, even have to shoot a, anything. Yeah. A lot of people try to go for the pacifist thing, but they think they still have to kill that boss, and it's like, nope. Yeah. <laughs> you still you still hecked up. Nope. Yep. Yeah. So hecked up. Yeah. Hecked up. That's mm. great. I like that. The kids are saying that, right? Yeah. Totally. That's a that's, that's a newfangled phrase. Yeah. It's, it's all it's, hecked up. It's all hecked up, my dude. <laughs> Uh, right yeah, if you want to watch Max play Cuphead, go watch the VOD for sure. I'm anyway, not, I'm not going to show you. I'm sure it. you guys talked a shitload about Cuphead last week, so no, no. I'm sorry. It's worth. It's okay. Yeah, it's it's worth talking about. To be honest, besides Mordor, there's not too many new things out this week. It, I was kind of in a after last Friday. I was in like, man, I don't. There's nothing I want to play. Like, I just, I'm um, not well, going to stream till Tuesday. The conversation was less about Cuphead and more about like. How we deal with anger. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. Which um, I think is a good, um, it's a good topic. Yeah. The other the other game that I started playing is Hat in Time. What I've is been that game? Looking forward to that game for a while. Oh, it's a it's a 3D platformer. Um, really? Where you play 
Yeah, where you play a little girl who uh, puts on different hats to get different abilities. It's like a very silly sort of old school 3D platformer, but without all of the janky issues with an old school 3D platformer, right? Um, it's very, very fun. It's really cute. And uh, yeah, you just play a girl who's on her spaceship and her spaceship gets busted. And then you have to go to all of these different weird planets and try to fix your ship. Huh. And it's super cute. Um, people actually, are saying that it's looks, taking them about 12 hours. It looks pretty cool, man. Yeah, it's adorable. You get to make other hats, and the different hats give you abilities. And is it? Um, hold on. Does it? It doesn't have to be adorable, does it? I mean, it doesn't have to be. Good. Okay, then I might play it. <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's a whole area that's like haunted house themed, where some really fucked up shit happens. <laughs> Oh, okay. I was like, oh, I can work with that. maybe this game isn't entirely made for children. Uh, we were talking about it on Co-Optional because uh, one of the other guys that was on this week, he was like, yeah, I played that game. Did you get to the area with that? And I was like, yeah, definitely. He was like, all right, not not for kids, right? We're, we're on the same page. I was like, yeah, definitely not for kids. Jeez, okay. So, Is it level yeah. based or like, uh, like mm. compared to like Banjo or more Mario 64? Like, where would you? Yes. It's very much, you know how in Mario 64, once you find a star, it like warps you out back to the hub zone? Yes. It's, it's very much like that. You're looking for these, okay. these like time hourglasses that you use on your ship. Um, and each time you play a level, you're trying to find or earn one of these hourglasses. And there are multiple ways to do them. Um, and so once you get one, then it pops you back out. Uh, Man, it so. looks like like even like jumping into like the paintings and stuff. It looks like real similar. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it totally is. Yeah, it's like it's unapologetically really, really fun, similar. <laughs> yeah, it has um, some of the same. Uh, what, what am I trying to say? Like it, it has the the camera assist shit but you can turn it off which i appreciated because there were a couple levels oh God, where the yeah. the way that the camera tried to help me i was like i can't see what the fuck i'm doing but they they let you uh they let you turn that stuff off so um for the most part any of the any of the kind of like i'm able to sequence break a little bit in this game but that's another thing that uh, you know older 3d platformers would also let you do right um there are things where the game will be like follow this character but you don't have to. Um, so, yeah. It's cool. it's really, really cute, though. Like, each area that you go to is heavily themed. The very first planet that you go to is mafia-themed. <laughs> and so every character that's there is part of, like, the mafia, but it's the whole planet, right? It's just really bizarre, silly stuff. Um, it's, it's really cute and fun. Uh, they've been... I think they've been <laughs> making it for, like, four years? Something yeah, like it that? Was, so, uh... cool that it's finally out. It was kickstarted. Do they does kickstarts have dates? Hmm. I well, think so. It was it was okay. a thirty thousand dollar goal, and they raised two hundred ninety six thousand. So they definitely crushed that. But yeah, I don't, I don't know when it's if it says like when it was kickstarted in that sense, huh? They have seventy seven updates, so I assume it's been a while. But yeah. <laughs> uh, is it worth twenty nine ninety nine? It's kind of pricey. I think, I think it's super cute. Okay. If you if if you're the sort of person that loves like Banjo Kazooie and and uh, games like that, if you're just looking for like a 3D platformer that's that's really clean and fun and has a lot of heart put into it, I, I think that it's worth it for sure. Okay. Um, it's it's up my alley. So, uh, I also speaking of Kickstarters for anybody that backed the Omori game. What is that? Um, it's a it's a really surreal RPG. Uh, there's a there's an artist named Omocat who makes like kind of weeby street gear, <laughs> okay. and uh, and Omocat started a, a Kickstarter for a game that they've wanted to make for a really really long time um, called Omori, and that one's also been in development for quite a while. And I was able to go to their pop up shop and play their demo. Yeah. Um, so that was that was also pretty cool. They told they told me actually that the the build that we played at the pop up shop was not the right build. Um, that the newest one didn't work on the day that I was there for whatever reason. So if you were there on Saturday and you played the demo, 
it was not the one that people were supposed to play. But if you were there on Sunday, you played the right one. They're, they were pretty similar. Is this the um, right game that I'm showing? Yeah, 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 <laughs> okay. yeah. Yep, that's it. <clears throat> okay. So it's like a really, it's like a really bizarre, surreal game that's in the way the way that it plays feels kind of like Secret of Mana. E. Um, you what game is this? From, it's called Omori. Omori. Yeah, O M O R I. Yeah. Dude, that looks cool. Like like it looks like right up my alley. It looks funky yeah. and weird and it's super weird. Spell yeah. that? O M O R I. It's still in development. Oh, oh more okay, okay, okay. But yeah, it feels very if you're a fan of Omori like clothing and stuff, it has that same this is kind of cute, but also kind of fucking weird, right? Like that's Yeah, that that's birthday the, cake the fucked with me. Feel of the game. <laughs> with you yeah yeah so i think i think it's turning out exactly how they wanted it to which is cool huh yeah they have tag they have tag words that i like surreal horror rpg mm -hmm. i'm in i'm in. in i'll yeah. check it out cool those are all good words <laughs> those, those are they're all words that, that appeal to me those are tag those words, words i look yeah. for in steam yeah yeah <laughs> uh well cool i think we're uh we're due for a break we'll come back and uh, talk more with, uh, with Brooke. We've also got Shadow of War to talk about. Uh, I think me and Co have some pretty strong feelings about that game. Uh, and then, I don't know, probably some other stuff too. So we'll try. I'm, go I'm actually going to try to get Zeke back into Final Fantasy, so that'll be fun. And uh, <laughs> I didn't know you I've been were away, still but I've been Final away. Fantasy. I'm not into Final Fantasy. Been... I want him to play it for me <laughs> and tell me about it because I don't want to oh. jump back in. I don't need a new addiction. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Let's take a yep. break. Mm. We got more drop yeah. frames coming up right after this. We'll be right back with more. We'll see you then.